Shoutouts to Perfect I'm Not. He asked me to to do this video. I'll try to be real quick. It's about some of the double standards of dating. You know, as far as females are concerned. And there are quite a few... I didn't list any, I'm just going off the top, but I'll tell stories to back up some of the ones I'll talk about. And um, the first one here, I remember some time ago, I was talking to this female. Um, I liked her, she, she, she was hella sexy, you know. But her thing was like, she needed a guy to take care of her and um, she wasn't lazy. She's not a lazy chick. Or she didn't sound like a lazy chick. She, she has a job, it's not a high paying job. But she was saying like, throughout history and now, you know, men should take care of women and stuff like that. Men should pay the bills, and she wants a guy who can pay the bills and stuff like that. You know, um, take care of financial stuff. You you come home, you 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 give the money to your woman, and she handles whatever needs to be handled. You keep the roof over their heads. You know, essentially, you be a slave. So, I said to her, okay, and what what do you do? When he does all of this, when he takes care of everything, he makes sure you're fed, you're clothed, well, what do you do? She says, well, she stays home, and if they, if, if kids are involved, you know, she take care of the kids and whatnot. I was like, okay, fine. Fine. But I said, but if he's doing all of that to make sure you're comfortable, you're pleased, you know, stuff like that, you taking care of the kids, that's not really pleasing him, essentially. So what are you doing directly to please him? And she said, well, nothing really. You know, now that she thinks about it, you know, well, she, and she was like, well, they'll have sex. And I said, well, yeah, but how often? Because you have to sacrifice something for him if he's doing all of this for you. So I said to her, listen, if you and I are in a relationship and I'm doing everything that you want, You have to have sex with me whenever I want. And she was like, no. <laughs> she said, no, that's not going to work. Because what if she doesn't feel like having sex? And I said, what? I said, no. There's no feelings involved here. I'm playing my part. You should play your part. So if I come home... And I want to have sex, regardless of whether you feel like having it or not. You, you, should, you should open your legs and skin out your pussy and let's fuck. She was adamant, like, no, no, no. So I said to her, well, then I wouldn't feel like paying the bills. Then and the bills won't get paid. How about that? How about I come home and I see the, the, the bills on the table and I'm like, listen, I don't feel like paying the bills. Just like you don't feel like having sex, I don't feel like paying the bills. I never heard another word out of her mouth. And that's one of the double standards of, you know, relationships and dating where as guys you're expected to do so much. And a lot of these females just don't want to do shit. And I mean, don't get me wrong, because you have some guys out there who take up this supposedly female role of just wanting to lay back and be comfortable while the woman goes out and just does everything. That does happen. That does happen, but I think the majority of it is on the female side, when she just wants you to do everything. Another double standard I, I can't remember is like, um, this happened to me some time ago too. Another female, her thing was, her thing was, um, same thing, it's similar to the first one. You spend all your money, you this, you that, you pay for her to go out, clothing, whatever it is. 
And her thing, is, her thing was this, and you have to fuck her and make her come. She mentions nothing about pleasing you. And I was like, listen, hold up, what are you talking about? So I have to spend my money to do this and do that to make sure you're comfortable. Buy you a ticket so you could come see me, this and that. And then I have to fuck you and make you come too? So, where is the pleasure for me? I'm doing all of this. What do I get in return? You know, and she was dancing around it and all that type of stuff. And that's another, that's, that's another thing too. Like, you know, they, they expect you to have sex with them, make them come. They just want to lay there. They don't want to do shit. You ask them to ride your dick, some of them, they don't know what the hell they're doing, okay? They don't know what they're doing. They just want to lay there and you fuck them and you should make them come and then you feed them and it's as if you're their slave. You know what I mean? I don't like that. They scream for equality. Where is the equality when it comes to, to pleasure? Also, this is another one too that, 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 that pisses me off. It's this entertainment thing. You should be able to make her laugh, make her have a good time. And you never, ever hear her talking about what she will do to make sure you have a good time. They'll never talk about what they'll do to make sure that you enjoy yourself. Because they act as if they are the price. Which, to be honest with you, the men are the prize. If you read that Bible, the Bible will show you. The man is the prize. It's not the woman. In those days, women do things to make sure the guy is satisfied and comfortable. And even in today's society, they just fight it. If you go to the Caribbean, what Caribbean women do? They'll come to your house and they'll make sure your, ho your house is clean. They'll cook for you. I don't, I don't see that here in America among American women. They fight against that. I ain't cooking nothing for no man. I ain't doing this for no man. But they expect you to do everything for them. Everything. It is a whole bunch of double standards, yo. And a lot of it comes from, a lot of it has to do with, like, money. You know? You even have, you still have women who they want to know your age, but you can't ask them their age. That type of bullshit, you know? I mean, there's a lot of double standards. Uh, uh, some of them I can't think about right now. It's something I have to, like, sleep on or go back in my memory box and remember some of the things that I went through with some females, but... There's a whole bunch of double standards out there. It's a whole lot. They expect things from you, but they don't want to do it themselves. You know, you should put out all this effort, but they're not putting... <sighs> I remember one of my ex-girlfriends said something to me. That was the first time I ever heard that from a female. This was years ago. And we had broken up. I was like a teenager then. We broke up and... No, I was in my early 20s. We broke up, and uh, I kind of, I was trying to, you know, get her back for a short period of time, just a short period. And then I was just like, yo, forget that. I'm, I'm moving on. And a few years after, I saw her, and we were talking and stuff like that. And I was asking her about, you know, why we didn't get back together, and she said, I didn't chase her long enough. I was like, what? She said, she said women like, like to be chased. They like the chase. I sat there, I was like, what the, f what? Had I chased her long enough, you know, we, we would have gotten back together. And I was thinking to myself then, the chase wasn't really necessary then because you already had it in your mind that we could get back together. But you wanted me to do something that makes you feel good, which is a chase. And a lot of these women do this out here. 
and have you wasting your damn time chasing them because they like the chase. They like to be chased. Wasting precious time that we could spend fucking. You know, I see that as a double standard too. I'm like, what? what, what? Anyway. I got to go. I got shit to do. See you guys some other time.